Hey guys, welcome to Protein Treats by NutriCell. I'm Melanie Wellman and I am super excited today because we have the amazing Jeremy Biot here today. He is a magician. He is absolutely mind-blowingly talented. I've gotten to see him perform a, a, a bunch of times actually and every time he's just amazed me. So I asked him if he would come on the show and help make some magic breakfast with me this morning. And we're gonna show you guys how to make a super healthy breakfast that makes you feel full all day and maybe even teach you a pretty cool magic trick. So what do you think, Jeremy? Are you ready to make some fantastic, yummy, egg-tastic breakfast? Don't melt these cheesy yolks too much. <laughs> all right, let's get started. So to make this really easy breakfast, Jeremy's gonna actually help me put everything together. All you're going to need is two tablespoons of cheese. You're gonna need some fresh veggies that you have around the house. I've got some green peppers, I've got some mushrooms, and I have some red peppers here, and some green onions. And then two tablespoons of whipping cream. Now I have a full fat cream here. You can use like a soy milk or even a coconut milk. If you use real cow's milk, it has a lot of sugar. One cup has 13 grams of sugar, so you wanna stay away from that. I have a little bit of salt and pepper, and then of course, I've got our scoop of natural neutraline that puts that prebiotic fiber in that we need. That's so yummy. And then we're gonna need two eggs. Oh crap, I've only got one egg. This happens to me all the time, so it's, it's a really easy trick actually. I just take a napkin uh, and I kind of just stuff it into a little ball in my hand and all you really got to do is just give it a little blow and that kind of changes into an egg. Uh, it's pretty easy, right? Yeah, totally. The secret, it's, it's just a hole in the back of the egg, right? So you can't actually cook with this. I have a little trick though. If you really do want to cook with a fake egg, I'll give you this. Okay. I actually keep an extra napkin. Uh, in my back pocket, get a little fake egg as well. So what you want to do is you just want to hide it in your hand just like that. Okay. Yeah. And then you just want to stuff it into the back just like that, into that little hole in the back. And the next step, okay. do you know what it is? Just giving a little blow and you can show the real egg. So it's pretty easy, right? But of course there's a hole in the back. So what I do is I just take that little hole and give it a little blow. and it, just turns into a real egg. You can actually just kind of crack. What? Just like that. Yeah. Okay, that was egg-tastic. Yeah. I'm a little freaked out right now. What about the second egg? Should we do it? Well, I think it'd be more effective can to I... use it than just make it into all right, a fake all right, egg. All right. so. <laughs> Here we go. And that's one, and that's two. Okay, that was super, super cool. Okay, so now we're gonna put a scoop of natural neutraline in. What I usually like to do is start mixing that right away. And then you can also, I'll add some, two tablespoons about of our heavy cream. Perfect. And then we've got two tablespoons of cheese and our yummy vegetables. So we'll go ahead and pop those in. You ready? That just incorporates perfectly well. Isn't that great? It's like magic. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. And we'll put in just a few fresh veggies. There we go. And look how easy that is. Give that a little bit of a stir. We'll add maybe some salt and pepper. What do you think? Sounds good. And of course, salt makes everything taste better, doesn't oh, yeah. it? Not too All much, right. Though. That is perfect. Now, I did spray the inside of my mug with some nonstick olive oil just to make sure that it doesn't get stuck with the egg in the microwave. And now we're just gonna go ahead and work some of our kitchen magic and put this in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna take it out. So we've cooked it for 30 seconds. Now we're gonna stir it again and pop it back in the microwave for about 60 more seconds. And you just wanna really whip oh, it up and stir it really good. The reason why we're stirring it is actually because the microwave cooks unevenly. It cooks the things around the top and the sides first, and the inside doesn't cook yet. And that will make your egg kind of clumpy. So you wanna cook it for 30 seconds, then 30 to 60 seconds again. Stir each time and put it back in for that last 30 seconds, and that's what's gonna give you your perfect eggs. So you can go ahead and stir this one up again. We just want to give it a pretty good stir so that when we put it back in the microwave for the last 30 seconds, 
it's nice and even all the way through. Doesn't that look great? I want this to look a little bit pretty when it comes out of the microwave. So I'm gonna add a little more cheese on the top and some of the green peppers here, just to give it some nice color. There we go. That's gonna be nice. And pop that back in the microwave. I can dig in? Yeah. It might be a little hot, so you might wanna blow on it. <laughs> You're brave. How is it? Oh my, that's really good. Usually you need like a big dish, so that's just perfect. Two seconds in the microwave is kind of like magic in the morning. Pretty much, yeah. Well, thank you, Jeremy. Your trick was amazing. That was so much fun. I hope you had fun on Protein Treats. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much, Jeremy. That was super fun and super awesome. And for you guys, if you're in the Maritimes in Canada and you'd like to book Jeremy for one of your events or for a fun get together, I'm gonna put his contact information below so that you guys can get a hold of him. He is absolutely amazing and so much fun. He'll blow your minds. Make sure you subscribe and then hit the bell so that you get the notifications for all the yummy food that we bring to you guys every single week so you can stay full with the food that you love and lose weight with delicious, yummy things. And I'll see you guys back here next week. Thanks, Jeremy, you are awesome. Thank you so much for having me, I really appreciate it. All right, thanks everybody.